How does that influence, let's say, let's start with conflict. Where, where do areas of conflict come in with a really busy, the modern day couple, you know, what are you fighting about? Is it, and it, you said like he's, he cleans up while you're gone and things like that. So he sounds like a real jam, <laughs> does he? Um, but aside from that, like, where does the conflict come in? What are the biggest areas of conflict? It's a really good question. I, uh, I feel like we are very, or at least I am, like if I'm having an issue or I'm like the least bit annoyed by something, I'm just going to nip it in the bud. Like, I'm going to say, like, I'm not the type of person who's going to hold my feelings and be like, oh, for the past two days, you've, like, not been giving me a hug in the morning. Like, I'm going to say it right away. Like, why did you give me a hug this morning? Like, why, like what? <laughs> so I think that helps in our conflict is, is that we don't really let anything get, like, big, big, big. It's like, if it bothers you, like, just say it right away. Either we're going to fight about it or we're going to be like, oh, yeah, you're probably right. Um, yeah. I will say our biggest conflict is probably around the, in the areas of like going on dates. Mm. Like, I'm a person that's like, I want to go. I I love going out to eat. Like love, love, love going out to eat. And he's like a homebody. Yeah. He's like, I would prefer to just order something, pick it up and then bring it home. And I'm like, no, but that doesn't feel like a date. So like you spent right. the money on this great, delicious food. But like, I feel, still feel like we haven't been on a date. Um, right. So I'd say that's probably our biggest area of conflict um, because then it kind of like goes over into like the intimacy thing where I'm like, have we actually spent any quality time together this week? Like, I don't know, because eating a meal at home just doesn't feel like the same as eating a meal in a restaurant. Um, right. So I'd say well, that's our biggest issue. There's a different vibe to that for sure. When like just being in that in that environment, like you can't jump up to go switch over the laundry or whatever when you're sitting in the middle of this beautiful restaurant, you know, like it really does force you to connect and to have that one on one interaction. So, I mean, that makes sense. And there's something to be said. It's fun to dress up. It's fun to like the whole just the whole thing is is a fun experience when that does tie into like the intimacy piece. Do you find that that is ever a struggle on his end, um, at, you know, from a very like typical that males often that sounds really bad i'm gonna get really i'm gonna get a lot of feedback about that. <laughs> <laughs> there's some like now nah, i don't know what you're gonna say but like there's some like it's just physiology like physiology like it's nature yes but i guess more from like i shouldn't make it that um i shouldn't make it sexist in that way because women like sex too and that's not my point but just being like the the intimacy piece of that do you find that to be a struggle with how frequently you guys aren't home at the same time or on your end, if you're like, you're not taking me on a date, you're not getting laid. Like, is that, does that ever come into it? I will never be the type of girl who's, and I say that now very loosely, we're three years into the relationship, 33, I may say something completely different, but I, I don't think it's good to use like sex or lack thereof as like a punishment. Like I don't ever want like because I also know as someone who lived in the world single for 30 years that like sex is a really easy thing to find so if that's the only right. thing I'm holding over your head like you could literally walk yeah. outside and find somebody else to have sex with so like that's never going to be my like way to punish my partner is like I'm not having sex with you until you do xyz um so but I don't know that even, I'm like I don't even know where I was going with this does um, that influence though your desire to connect like does that lack of emotional connection influence then your lack of desire for physical connection? Sometimes, yes. Uh, because okay. I think we like sometimes define intimacy differently. Like he's like, oh, we had sex yesterday. And I'm like, yeah, but we didn't like cuddle first and then like cuddle afterwards. And like, we didn't talk about our feelings and you only said you loved me one time. You know, so like I I put all of, all of these things into a basket, whereas him, he's like, I, I I filled the bag. Like, I don't know what else you need from me. Um, and that's been like a big, we, something that we continually just talk about and discuss. Right. And if, if I have an issue with it, then I speak up. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, sign up for my newsletter and find me on Instagram at Dr. Elizabeth Bedrick.